As writers and researchers, we have an enormous responsibility to the way that we represent and write about tech. Um, one of the greatest exports of Silicon Valley is ideology and this idea that certain tech products are inevitable. It works really well as a way to control public opinion, uh, to control policymakers. Is that we're building these data systems, you and I, and the people in Silicon Valley, and the people in the government, uh, but we're not doing them, we're not building them with the intention of people to feel well inside of them. And maybe uh, a good question for us is how. Macropolitically, states confront the same semantic collapse that most of us do micropolitically. Our words are devalued, hollowed out, repurposed, instrumentalized, and eviscerated in accord with financial programs, not necessarily of our own writing. I have a firm belief that when we ask questions like, what is the future of tech? Or what is the future of tech that will solve this food safety issue? We're actually asking, what is our future? Like, what is my day to day going to look like? And, you know, will I stop facing technologically accelerated precarity? Of course, the spatial field that constitutes this unpredictable environment in which machine learning plays out is a field that is racially and historically saturated. A, a set of universal values needs to come from the people. It needs to come from a democratic deliberative process that is inclusionary of um, not just, you know, the Westerners who are, I hate that term, but Westerners who are currently making these decisions. We know that we need new theories of political economy to replace neoliberalism. Um, and we know that we need new social experiments to discover them. We know we need to invent new ways of democratic being in the digital age.